So, good morning. Good morning. Yes. Uh, we are very happy to be here in your school. Okay, and, it's, it's very um, nice. I, I would like to ask you a question about nature yes. in Finland. So, yes. why is uh, nature so important to you? Yes, it's so. Uh, we have a lot of forest in Finland, you, do you know? Yeah. It's, it's 70% of, of area, yeah. it's, it's forest. Yeah. And in the southern part, is this like of coniferous pine, bruce and birds. Yeah. And in the northern part, it's, it's, a, it's a, like a pine forest yeah. more. And in the northern part in Finland, we have a lot of mires. Yeah. It's about 7% of area in the northern part is mire. Yeah. It's a lot of good areas. Mm -hmm. and in the southern part and the eastern part, there's a lot of lakes. Yeah. Yesterday, you were on the typical lake side. Yeah, that's right. It's a forest and lakes. Yeah. And this is the typical Finnish nature. And we so. went up to a rock. Yes, we it's, a, a rock. It's, it's typical rock in the southern part of Finland. It was beautiful. It's beautiful, yes. Breathtaking yes. scenery. Yes, yeah. and it was, uh, there was one, no snow. No snow. Mm -hmm. And snow. you can see the ice age formation. Yes. The top of the rock. Yes. It's a very, very smooth. Yes. Uh, the rock, uh, ice has gone from north and make it this kind of flat rock. That's right. So yes. you like nature very much. Yes. And you spend a lot of time outdoors. Uh, yes, I, every day I walk a little bit. Yeah. And in the weekend, and, uh, more about it's typical walking is about five kilometers. Yes. Anyway, when I have time, it's uh, 10 kilometers. Yes. So you uh, are very fit. No, no, no. But it's, it's very good because there's a different kinds of uh, this terrain. Yes. And you can. Uh, you have a, it's very good for legs and so on. Yes. And sometimes with uh, this you, kind of you go Nordic, Nordic walking. Nordic yes. walking, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right. okay. Because it's, it take the, it's very strong to the yes. arms and so on. Yes, it's very so good on. for the mm. arms. And, yes. and you are very sporty here in Finland. You I, I do a so. lot of yes. outdoor sports. Yes, because what kind? I think that every people walk mm -hmm. every day, yeah. a little bit or more. Yeah. And the younger people walk run and so on yeah and yesterday we saw somebody who was roller skiing yes it's, it's yeah. difficult yes no, no, it was the first time i saw it okay it's it's very very good good in kausala here yeah because we have this uh, bike road yes and it's very good for this and uh, roller skating itself would be difficult because there are up hills down here yes, a little yes. bit uh, yes it's like um, Rolling. <laughs> it, it, it's a yeah. it's special ski. It's like this, and there's a rollers here. Yeah. And the brake. Yeah. And you can take the back side. And you have the sticks. Sticks too. also. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And to help you move. Yes. It's a very good uh, practice for yes. skiers. Yes. yes. And yes. lots of students uh, come to school by bikes. Uh, yes. So in this area. Yes. In this yeah. area. Yes. 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 Because th this castle is about five kilometers long and two, yeah. two wide. And you have lots of dogs in the family, so you, yes. you go for a long walks. Yes, so it's, long it's, walks it's, it's very uh, popular petty. Yeah. Uh, dogs. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for the interview. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. I, I, I hope that you have a very good time yeah. this week. We are enjoying every minute. Okay, but it. this is yeah. a not typical Finnish uh, spring because this is about 10 degrees mm -hmm. uh, colder than normal. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but it's okay. no problem. Very we have winter clothes, so okay. it's no yes. problem. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. So, <coughs> so uh, what's the weather like in Finland? Like, uh, tell me about the extremes. <laughs> <laughs> well, in summer we have kind of warm. Usually it's like maybe 10, 15, but sometimes it can be like 20, 25. Maybe maximum is like 30 plus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we have a lot of storms and thunder and rain usually too. And then in winter, we might have like easily minus 20, minus 30 degrees and snow, snow yes. ob obviously, and obviously. ice. Yes. And then in fall and in spring, there's a lot of rain, a lot of rain, a lot of rain, a <laughs> lot of rain, <laughs> okay. and cloudy and moody, like changes really quickly. Okay. 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 And maybe your favorite season? Uh, well, my favorite season is fall because nice. I like rain. And usually it rains too much in fall. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, here we are in Finland. What's the place called exactly? Hidenvuori. Okay, it's a very special place. Yes. Why? Well, during the prehistorical times, after the Ice Age, 
people started moving here and uh, this used to be an ancient fortress and because it's so high and there is water all around those who wanted to safeguard the, the, the neighborhood they saw pretty well from here if there was an enemy coming yeah. mm, so they had some time beforehand to get prepared for the fight mm. and the driver has just mentioned that there are some drawings from prehistoric times here not here but um, in in some other location in Iti. Okay. Mm. Okay then. And now, uh, can you please tell us something about um, your your holidays during uh, school term? Yes. Uh, the main holiday for us is naturally the summer holiday, yeah. which we are slowly getting prepared. Yeah. <laughs> and it will usually begin at the beginning of June yeah. and uh, we'll be on holiday until mid-August. Right. So and your, your summer holiday is a little bit shorter than yes. ours. It seems so, yeah? yes. And then school starts? Uh, this year it starts around the 10th, 11th of August. Depending on whether you are a teacher or a student, of course, <laughs> because we have got a day beforehand yeah. and then, well, we get prepared right. and orientated okay. for the school year and then um, a day after that the students come. Right, <laughs> and then you have an um, autumn break. Yes, for a week. For a week, yeah. Uh, usually it's the in in um, October yeah. week 42 if I remember yes that. and then comes the winter holiday uh, before that we have Christmas holiday really? so you have two holidays in winter Christmas holiday and winter yes. holiday really? okay depending on the year how the how the Christmas Day and the Boxing Day and the New Year's yeah. Day go. Um, we can have either one week's holiday around Christmas or two weeks. Yeah. And how long is your winter holiday? Um, winter holiday, which we call skiing holiday. Yeah. Although we can no longer ski around here because it's too warm. Okay. for the snow to, to last, stay, yeah? to stay on the yeah. ground. Yeah. Um, that's one week at mm -hmm. the end of February, at yeah. the beginning of March. And then you have a spring holiday at Easter, I guess? Yes, mm -hmm. and a long weekend. Long weekend, mm. and that's, that's all. Right, and how many school days do you have? We have got uh, around 189, 88, okay. a bit depending on the year. Okay. Mm. Actually, in Hungary we have 182. Mm. So you go to school a little bit longer. <laughs> a week longer. Okay, <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> so, uh, that's all. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you very much. Okay. And greetings to Hungary, to Dabas. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, Tita, yeah. what do you think about the uh, Finnish education system and what do you enjoy of it and what do you, do you don't enjoy? Of it? Okay, so I like it. It's pretty good, I think. I think one reason about that is because we have like breaks between classes, so it's like 15 minutes free and you can just hang out. And I think that's one reason why it's good. And what teachers do you don't are. Like it? Uh, I don't know. It's it's awesome. Oh, okay, so, so, so yeah. you like it? So yeah, much. I like it. Yeah. Okay, and uh, in uh, higher education, like universities, they are free. Yes. I think. So this country, they paid. We pay taxes, and taxes are for 
education, so it's kind of free. Yeah, yeah. it's free. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. So thank yeah. you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, <laughs> so hello, Marie. Hello. Hello. It's very nice to be here in Finland. I am enjoying every moment of it. Right. It's um, lovely to hear that. Yeah. So you are a PE teacher, right? So P could you PE and health science. Okay, so could you please tell us about your PE lessons, so the activities you do? We have all kinds of activities. Usually we start by uh, track and field in the fall. Then we have some orienteering lessons. Then we have some gymnastics. All kinds of different ball games. Uh, then we have uh, skating, skiing, and then baseball of course just whatever a lot of different things okay thank you and uh, how long have you been a PE teacher mm, about 20 years 20 years so, okay and um, uh, what do you do in winter time when it's uh, cold to go outside well in winter time we are outdoors really? but if it's over minus 15 then we're indoors <gasps> Over minus 15 yeah. and you, st you, you still are... Four, minus 14 we go skating, skiing. Okay, yes. right. We so are in Finland. You this do is a winterland. <laughs> wonderland. Okay. Wonderland, winterland. <laughs> so you do a lot of uh, winter sports in yeah. winter basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. And um, then we take the kids uh, downhill skiing as well, a couple right. of times a year. How many P lessons uh, do students have a week? Well, the normal situation is one and a half hours mm -hmm. per week, but next fall, the seventh graders will have one and a half plus one. Okay. This is a new way of doing things. Okay. But then after seventh grade, the children can choose two plus two if they want to. So they can have six lessons a week, six hours of PE per week, okay. eighth and ninth That's grade. a lot. Yeah. So that's why you are so fit. And do you ever go to a sauna on PE lessons? No, we don't have a sauna in, in, in school or mm -hmm. on the premises. No. Children do it on their own time. Right, in their free time. Yeah. Free time is sauna time. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Thank you for the interview. No problem. Greetings to Hungary. <laughs> Again? Okay, so Arno, please tell us about the rules of Finnish baseball. So the Finnish baseball differs from the regular American baseball in some ways. Uh, there's the thrower throws upwards. Uh, the hitter has three tries. Uh, when he hits the ball, he runs to the first base. And the bases are not uh, the same as in baseball. So first base is on left, second base is on right, and third base is on back. After third base, if you want to do the home run, you need first you need to stay at the third base. You got the home run for staying. Uh, when the next hitter hits and you get home, you get the home run. So, uh, and one more thing. Uh, so there is no actual thrower. Uh, there are thrower, but uh, the thrower throws upwards, like uh, and, uh, how Simo is doing right now. Okay, and uh, when? When does a hitter uh, get out? Uh, get out like uh, to the like field or from the field? Eliminated from the field. Uh, he, he, gets, he gets eliminated if someone at the base he's running to. Uh, the guy on the base gets the ball to him. Okay. So then he burns. So before he gets to the base, if someone gets the ball at the base, yeah. he's out. And uh, if someone is running home and someone throws the ball to the thrower, and the thrower catches it, then a home runner is uh, out. Okay, thank you very much. I think that's it. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Hello, Martin. Hello, Laura. Hello, uh, this one. Yeah. Hello. It's very nice to be here in your school. And this is your classroom, right? Yes, this is my classroom, yes. And you are a history teacher. Yeah, I teach history and social studies and also entrepreneurship with my another colleague. and. Yeah. Uh, I also am the responsible person for the um, 
e-tests concerning our uh, high school final tests. Okay. Every every test is going to be with computer in two years now, and I'm the responsible person right. in here in our school. Yeah. So, uh, do you have all your uh, history lessons here? Yes, I teach in in Lukio High School, and also I have few groups from uh, the elementary school, yeah. and all my teachings are are here and those students come here right. from the you elementary school too. Lots of books here, material? Yes, lots of books, but I think I, I use more and more digital material nowadays. So yeah. books books are also useful, but I try to di digitalize mm -hmm. every material yeah. I use. So it's, it's uh, more, practical. Uh, more practical. I use my blog, I have blog for my subjects and that's the forum for students yeah. to find every material they they have to use during they don't their studies. Need course books then. Well, of course we have course books, but mm -hmm. but uh, the material outside from the course books you can find that from my my blog. Right. Yes. Okay. How long have you been a teacher? I have been teacher now six years, mm -hmm. and here in it this is my fifth year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are very young. Yes, <laughs> yes I am. As a teacher. Yeah, as a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyway. All right. So, what are your future plans? Well, I started last uh, fall, I started this individual learning uh, practice mm -hmm. with the new high school students. Mm -hmm. And I'm, um, uh, I have this uh, doctor, doctoral research going so on with it. Yeah, PhD. PhD. That's right. Yeah. And um, I hope that all my teachings will be individual. Uh, they call it also flipped learning yeah. in some some places. Um, uh, that's the the base idea is basic idea is that uh, you can um, go as fast as you can with your studies, and if you are a slow learner, you can uh, slow your pace and. Um, uh, practice practice more some uh, basic things mm -hmm. and and no one gets frustrated because the the, the pace is not too fast or too slow mm -hmm. everybody goes individual so it's tailor suits for the yes students. yes yeah. it, that's right, right that's right okay so i hope um uh, all my teachings will be individual and of course i'm i'm writing my doctoral research now uh, concerning about it so there's the main main future plans for me as a teacher, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.